What's up guys? All right, we're on the job today. We got something going on with the toilet, so let's go in without further ado and see what's happening. All righty. So apparently this is running. Let's take a look. Well, seeing as it's really not having a good time, it's taking forever to fill, I would say that yes, this is probably leaking by. Let's see if we can hear it. Oh yeah, you see it dropping. Okay. All right, let's uh, see about replacing that flapper. All righty. Let's take this one off. I've got two different kinds. I've got a regular universal, which is this one, depending on how it flushes. Or doesn't. I also have one that has a float. Let's see how this does. So far so good on the fill. All right, let's see what the flush is. Make sure we don't get a double flush. we're gonna get. Yep, okay. So, I'm gonna have to go with the float. Being that this is an American standard, I was kind of thinking that was gonna be the case, but so these corkies come with this middle part here. I just clip them off so that we can just, since this has ears, we can then just put this on. And the way, the, the way these work is the float will ride, you know, float in the water. So that when you lift this up, it gets assisted by the air that's in the bladder. That air will come out once the flapper is up and then the float will hold it up until the water level drops and then it will close. So you can adjust your length of flush. Okay. So that float will float in the water. It's buoyant, so it's trying to pull up. But the weight of the water on the top surface of that flapper is enough that it can't pull the flapper up. So that flapper won't come up until you actually engage the trip lever and trip it up. But once it comes up, that pressure, the surface pressure from the water pushing down on that top of the flapper is relieved. So then the float can pop up and hold that flapper up. Mm, 
does seem pretty good. We'll let it fill up and then we'll take a look at the flush itself. Alright, let's see what the flush itself looks like. That looks pretty good. We'll do it one more time just to make sure everything is seating the way it should and working proper. Okay. I don't hear anything leaking by. We'll give it a minute. All right, I think everything is good. Just for a laugh. I'm gonna simulate a double flush for you guys so you can see what that is. So that's your first flush. And then if it goes too long, you get a second flush. And you end up with what we call a double flush. And that will end up draining the tank out completely. And is really not what you want, especially especially if you have one of these tanks that's a, uh, a water saving tank, you know, only 1.6 gallons per flush. You know, that ends up using quite a bit more than 1.6 gallons, so that's why you want to get these flappers adjusted correctly, but this one should be good to go. I'll let it finish filling and call it done. For any of you wondering, this is the flapper that I used, Fluid Master 5051. Okay. Put the lid back on and we'll just go around and double check the stop, make sure that's okay, double check our tank to bowl bolts, make sure that they're alright, and then lastly just double check around the base. While we're here, just cover everything, make sure nothing else is leaking. But with that, that should be it. Okay, with that, that wraps up another toilet here. That was a pretty easy one. Just the flush valve had to be replaced. Um, they had tried to do it, but without that float, you're really not going to get a good um, flush. And then also the one that they had on there had rigid um, attachment points to the ears, so it wasn't able to get the correct angle onto the ceiling surface of the flush valve. So that's why it was leaking by. Um, but they've got the new one in there. It's working, it's flushing, it's doing everything it should. So they should be good to go and happy now. Um, with that, if you got anything out of this and you like this video, please remember to leave a like down below. Please comment. I do enjoy reading those. Those are always a lot of fun. And if you would, please subscribe so that I can catch you on the next one. Until then, have a good one.